Now, I don't want to upset the baby with her house and cries and begs for, you know, forgiveness, <laughs> pleading to be let out. But the baby will get used to it eventually. So that's what's going to happen if she gets out of this hole. Okay, if she gets out of this hole, first of all, I'm going to be mad because she's not supposed to get out. Second of all, she is going to go right on down into underneath the house. I'm going to invite her back over. She's like, wait a minute, I don't know about going underground with you again because the last time we went, you said you had a secret. And the secret was I got locked in an oubliette. I know, I know. And yes, you did. But in this case, it's going to be a different secret. And it's going to be a better one because it's under my house. So... Hi, I'm Jason Sterling. We're going to jump in here with Rick. Poor pregnant Rick there. He is going to give the dog a bath at the worst possible time because he's actually going into labor pretty much just right now, I think. Yes, pregnant and in labor. That happened because he was trying for a baby, as you may recall. Yes, he was trying for a baby. So... We're going to see him through the process here. He, uh, you know, oh God, I hate that. He put a plate up there on the ledge. I hate it when they do that because I always forget and it says there forever. And then they're constantly like, something stinks in here. Well, I look for it. Fix it. I had hired a maid and she never showed up. <laughs> so like, I thought, you know, he's going to be pregnant. He's going to have a baby. Da -da -da -da, but she never showed up. Um, I did think it would be kind of funny to have him go into labor while he was enraged as a wolf, right? Wouldn't that be funny? Of course that'd be funny. So this is it. He is enraged as a wolf. He is in labor all at the same time. Now it happens, you know, Nick there finally got scared. Right, finally got scared, took off. It happens really quick, though. I mean, like, the pregnancy and the labor was super fast. And I almost couldn't think of what to name her for a little bit, but then I, I did choose a name from a book that I like. It's actually the name of this person here in the picture on the wall back behind me. That's her, that's her name. Um, Ar Arcady, Arcady is how I usually pronounce it, Arcady. <laughs> So the little baby in its first moments of life is staring into the face of a brutal werewolf. And then I got this thing like having an alien baby, which must be a glitch. That makes me think that it must be a werewolf baby, of course. And for some reason it's glitched. And But I didn't get a werewolf like bassinet. I didn't get an alien bassinet. I really don't know. We'll see, I guess, as it gets older. I had to send Nick over to check on it because... In his enraged werewolf flirty state, Rick is not as easily controllable, right? But then, of course, Nick... There you go. Yeah, that's it. Very sexy, Rick. Thank you. Uh, Nick, of course, keeps getting scared and running off. I'm like, Nick, that's your baby. You are scared of the werewolf. You're running off, taking off from this werewolf because you're scared. Leaving your baby there as dinner. Werewolves love baby. They love the taste of baby, right? Werewolf loves to taste a baby. It's like veal to a werewolf. You cannot run off and leave your baby there for the werewolf's dinner. But that's what he keeps doing. He's getting a lot of negative moodlets from Rick during his werewolf phase. The baby is crying. The baby's very upset. I would be upset too as a baby. There's like some yelling and howling. He just popped out of the womb. And, you know, Rick makes things better by going over and terrorizing Nick. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I'm trying to get a handle on things here. I really don't need that. Finally, I do get Nick to give the baby something to eat, kind of hold the baby for a little bit. You know, the poor Pikachu, he's, he's upset too. He's like, what is this new thing? What is this? What is this little blob in this box you've got? Why did you bring this in here? Why? Did we need this? We didn't need this. Okay, Rick jumps back down into his normal human form. Thank God I need some help with this kid. And the first thing I do is go on down there and I just go ahead and age him 
up. <laughs> All right. Or her. Age her up. Let's age her up. We do age her up. It'll be easier to deal with a toddler than a baby in a bassinet. And the babies don't do anything anyway, but lay there and cry. So I go ahead and age him up or her up. Oh my God. I'm going to call this child him forever. But I age her up and I decided to make her independent because I think independent toddlers are the funniest toddlers. I love it when they fold their arms and do that. Hmm. It reminds me a lot of my son. My son would do that a lot. So he would do this. Hmm. So that's that's why I give him the independent trait a lot. And, you know, kind of just get ready to settle into some family routine here in the where I've done more normal stuff in the werewolves pack than I have almost anything else. Just normal family stuff. Oh, there you go. Good hug for dad. Now, this child does argue a lot, though. I have noticed that. Now, I've used the independent trait a lot, but I feel like this one argues even more than normal. Right? Right. So, I also noticed that I don't have a bed, even though I know they're pregnant, even though I know a baby's coming. Did I build any sort of nursery? No. Did I do anything at all? No. So, I go through, put in a bed, put in some toys, put in a little outdoor slide, Give them a little dollhouse. This is my favorite dollhouse, by the way. I love that. Little rainbow tree is my favorite. Give them a new potty so we can teach them to go in the potty. And, of course, bring in a high chair, right? So I can feed them later. You don't really need a high chair to feed a toddler. This is my pro tip. This is a pro simmer tip, you guys. Just throw the food on the floor with the dog. The toddler will eat off the floor and not even care. Not even care. Do it while you still can. You know, just throw the food on the floor. The toddler come along, grab it, and eat. So we do feed her, and we give her... Uh, her sippy cup, and then it's time for bed. Let's go to bed. Remember, we're, this is a werewolf's pack. This is not parenthood. It's werewolf's pack. So we put her into bed. Let her get some sleep. We're going to read her a little story. Reading the, the, where the wild things are. That's what we're reading. Where the wild things are. are. See, your daddy, he's a wild thing. Your other daddy, Rick, uh, he's a werewolf, but he's really just a wild thing. He just likes to make mischief sometimes. So we read her a story, and everybody goes to bed, and um, it's happy ending. <laughs> All right? Happy ending. Thank you, Trey. Thank you very much, Yes, We got a message from Trey instead of that crazy Stefan telling us he's in love with his couch or something. I did go through and do a little bit of cast changes on this kid, you know. Change the hair a little bit. Just some general stuff. I don't spend too much time going over this, but I wanted to kind of change the clothes around. These are the new toddler clothes from the Werewolves Pack, right? Super cute. Love these outfits. Really, really, really cute. Isn't that cute? I love that little paw pants, you know, on the pockets. That's That's adorable. That's adorable. It's almost worth $20 just to get that. Not really, but kind of. So we do a little updating of the wardrobe. And I check again on my maid service, like, where's my maid? Why hasn't she shown up and cleaned this house? All I can imagine is maybe, maybe she did when Rick was enraged and she saw a werewolf and just took the hell off, right? Just got the hell out of there, took off either that or... It's glitch. <laughs> which which do you think is more likely in The Sims? I don't know. It could be either one. That's a 50-50 toss-up. Did she get scared and run away, or is it just some sort of messed up glitch? I don't know. My little independent toddler there is making some art. She is redecorating the floor. She's redecorating the house. She wants it to look pretty. It looks pretty, Dad. Look, and she likes chocolate and powdered sugar. So she throws it all over the floor, and Nick gets down and says, Honey, honey, let's talk about this, okay? And he gives her some words of advice, which she actually takes pretty well. You know, now she's kind of like, but why? I get that. I get that, but why? <laughs> why why do i need to care what the floor looks like the floor looks better it looks better with chocolate and look how pretty okay anyway they worked it out and then they went to the festival of the youth now why did i bring her to the festival of the youth i have no idea because there's not hardly anything for her to do here but i thought hey the festival of the youth is going on for the third time this week 
I think. Isn't this like the third time we've been here? I feel like we've been here for like so many times to this festival of the youth, but we're here again. We're going to do a little run around, old Comey Yada. What's this place called? Como Rebbe. We're going to run around here a little bit, see it in its fall form. We have just run into Grant Squire's uh, cousin there, whose name escapes me at the moment, but we ran into him, made some friends, and little Arkady, she runs over there, or Arkady, let's call her Arkady, Arkady, little Arkady runs over there and sees Yama Chan, gives him a dance. She's like, I saw you on TV, this is how we dance. So she gives him a little dance, and they take a picture, and it's so super cute. I've never seen a selfie from Yama Chan. I think it's supposed to be like in the screenshots folder, right? I don't, I've never seen that. It never happens. It, it's broke. It does not work. I think I got one of the shots out of the photo booth, though, in screenshots for the for the high school pack coming up, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Now, of course, um, let's see here. Old Rick is going to come over. I oh, I tried to have Nick order some food. I tried to have Nick order some food that did not work out well it did not work out well it ended up that oh i was going to order it and have him not eat it real quick and set it aside and then let little arcady eat it and that hardly ever works it's so hard to feed a kid at this event you basically have to bring food with them everywhere and so she didn't get to eat it. And you can tell she's hungry. I mean, that's why I was trying to do it. She's hungry. He needs to go to the bathroom. She's hungry. She's having a fit. She's ready to go. They're ready to go. I'm ready to go. And so we go. We're back here to World Werewolf number four. That's the name of this lot. Fourth lot I made for the Werewolves pack at that time. And it has snowed. While we were gone, we missed it, but it snowed while we were gone, and so she does a little play thing in the snow. She's never seen it before. She's only like three hours old, and so, you know, a moment in the snow, that's it. Nick comes out, gives him a quick kiss, teleports him over to that other area, and there he is. <laughs> There is one of our fellow werewolves now. Spoiler alert, someone's going down the hole today. Someone is going down the hole at Barter Town today. Now, in the meantime, it's almost high school time. So I decide to place this slot, Eco Community for my Eco Pack, over there or over here in Moonwood Mill, right? But across the creek there. Over by Barter Town, we're going to set that down and make a few minor changes to it. It already kind of looks like a salvage type of place, but I changed the roof. I put on those different sort of tiles on the roof instead of the grass. The grass was for eco. This is not eco. This is barely getting by here in Moonwood Mill. I also changed the traits because it's for teenagers, so I make it a teen hangout, uh, make it easy to study there, stuff like that. And I also build our oubliette. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! We're going to make this so much fun. I build our oubliette here for all the other werewolves in town. Is that enough room for them all? Well, I don't know, but it's going to have to do. I put in a little comfy seat made out of straw and a toilet and a table that if they have enough sense to go in and put food on that table, they may live a little longer. We're going to see. Maybe they don't have that much sense, but that's what they get because they're not living up to their heritage and I had to deal with it. I had to take it on. I had to. Someone had to do it. That someone had to be me. So I do a little bit of changes there. You can see the barter town try to try to work on it a little bit more and then off I go to home, right? I head home. Rick is going to, you know, have a little quality family time with the baby. Maybe give her something to eat. Maybe. Because what she's saying, can I have some grilled cheese, Daddy? He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll get you some grilled cheese. Hold on here. Let me get you some grilled cheese. And instead, what did we get? We got green peas. That's not grilled cheese, Daddy. But she's going to eat it anyway. She's like, I like peas too, but that's not grilled cheese. Okay, that's green peas. Now, they sound kind of the same. Grilled cheese, green peas. Maybe, maybe Arcady is, you know, little. She doesn't speak that well. But goddamn. Rick, how are you going to mess up green peas for grilled cheese? 
I don't know, but he did. Now it's bedtime again. And Nick goes in to work on his book. He's a writer. He's going to work on his next book, the third one in the series. What is this one going to be called? Can you guess? The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. No, not that. That would be boring. The Voyage of the RM Cascadian, an airship built by Prince Hooper, who is headed out to reestablish his imperial dominion on his overseas holdings with his friends and family. That's what Prince Hooper is going to do. Much like Prince Caspian did in The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. That does sound very familiar. Now what you're thinking, is that plagiarism? No, it's not. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> because I said so. Actually, it'd be a totally different story, too, believe me. Hooper going off in the RM Cascadian is a totally different story. Uh, so, Rick here is trying to make friends with wolves because he's like, maybe if I try to be friends... It'll be easier to lure them down that hole. I think it will. I think it will. I just wanted to get some shots here of the snow. Oh, my God. This sounds beautiful in the snow. Their house is so beautiful. We're headed over here to the bar lot to barter town where our hole is. And the only wolf available is Grandma Wolf. So that's who it had to be. And I did look. I did look. I didn't necessarily want Grandma Wolf to be the first one down the hole. The little fruitcake baker going to bring me a fruitcake and offer to let let me join her group of friendly wolves trying to make the world a better place. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck you, Grandma. You are going down the hole. Better take a fruitcake with you so you have something to eat down there while you're in the cell. Now, I'm going to say this real quick. This might not work because it's public lot. So I'm hoping once I put her in jail, she stays in jail. Now... If it does not work, I'm going to put this oubliette under my own house and put her down there. Now, I don't want to upset the baby with her house and cries and begs for, you know, forgiveness, <laughs> pleading to be let out. But the baby will get used to it eventually. So that's what's going to happen if she gets out of this hole. Okay, if she gets out of this hole, first of all, I'm going to be mad because she's not supposed to get out. Second of all, she is going to go right on down into underneath the house. So I'm going to invite her back over. She's like, wait a minute, I don't know about going underground with you again because the last time we went, you said you had a secret. And the secret was I got locked into Oubliette. I know, I know. And yes, you did. But in this case, it's going to be a different secret. And it's going to be a better one because it's under my house. So right now, though, we're going to try this. We're going to put her in there. First, you notice she didn't want to walk in. She kind of stopped there at the door. Oh, this looks nice. This is your this is your hangout? This is where you hang out. It is. And this is where you're going to hang out forever. All right. Why until you're dead? One or the other. Well, and then your ghost can hang out there forever. So I'm going to put her back. I'm going to hope she stays in there. And eventually, now that we have round walls you know with the with the update i'm gonna make a round tunnel that goes all the way up so they can look up and see the light once a day right so that the sun will shine over them once a day and down into their oubliette and remind them of everything they have lost because they let down the race they let down the werewolf race but playing all that nice bullshit, not getting into fights, not fighting me, not giving me what I wanted out of this game. So that's what you get down that hole because that's that's what happened. That's what happened. It had to happen. It had to happen. And he is plenty satisfied. He is plenty happy that it did happen. Hooray, hooray, as am I. Yay, yay, yay. And that's it for today. So coming up, please hit like, subscribe, and notify. Because coming up, we're switching into the werewolf slash high school gameplay, right? We're just going to continue this storyline, but we're going to bounce back and forth between high school and werewolves. And I'm moving a new group of students, a new group of, we're going to call them high school orphans, right? Into that lot I just placed, the eco living lot. And it's my group, actually, that I made for the university pack, but I aged them down. <laughs> aged them down to teenagers from young adults. Actually, some of them were already teens for that, you know. So, I'm going to put them there. We're going to do high school and werewolves coming up with our gameplay series here. Please join me then, and until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>